Yes, here we are to do another one of every Masters pack opening, a la Magic the Gathering. Oh my gosh, I can't even use my fingers correctly to pick up all these packs. How can I hold all these packs? I'm not gonna, I'm gonna open them. Here we go. Masters 2017 edition. Domri is here to bring me a common Burning Tree Emissary. Well, let's pull out the scanner and see if this once um, over a buck card is anywhere close to that now that it's been pre-printed several times. It's 49 cents, that's pretty good for a common, but it's uh, not what we're here for. We're here for the big bombs, not like this Magma Jet. Let's see, Ranger, a Slave Driver, a Battle Rattle Shaman, we're gonna get going. Let's get going to the uncommons. Jungle Shrine, Path to Exile, very good. Uh, uncommon, we'll scan that one. But being it's the complex version is $4.99. Turn that loud sound down just a bit. The Modern Masters, man, it's been printed a bunch of times, and it's still $4.94. We have Wall of Frost. Whoops, I'm spoiling it here. Ooh, oh my gosh, we're spoiling the Tarmogoyf. The another once great card um, that's still pretty great. Come on, you gotta admit this card is still great. Um, Price Memory is probably doing this thing a lot of wonders as well, even keeping it above a certain level, which we're gonna find out what that is soon. But for one and a green, it's a Lurgoif. Tarmogoyf's power is equal to the number of card types among cards in all graveyards, and its toughness is equal to that number plus one. Used to be a thing. Let's see if it still is. It still is. Come on. It's 28 bucks. Hold on. Another another one that gets reprinted. Why wouldn't they reprint the once like almost $200 card and uh, and get you to think there's a bunch of value left in these sets when they reprint it. We got a Chandra's Outrage and a Burb. All right. All right. That's very nice. Um, I guess the Tarmogoyf could earn a sleeve. And even get a special spot. Sorry, Lily, I'm going to cover you up. There we go. Okay. Modern Horizons, which, uh, you know, everyone points this out to me. It's not a master set, Tragic. I don't care. It's for Modern. It's a masterful feat of um, card engineering. And I like it. So it's a master set. Shapeshifter. Um, art card of a dude with no head writing... A beetle locust thing. Wow, what is that? It's a headless specter, of course. Got a snow covered swamp and a silent clearing there. Very nice. So these are the horizon lands, um, which uh, you can pay one life to add um, white or black. I can read. Or you can pay one and then tap it to sacrifice silent clearing to draw a card just like Horizon Canopy. Um, these things I thought were going to take off a lot more than they did. But as such, they're still pretty decent. 11 bucks on that one. Talisman of Curiosity. I think the talismans out of these are pretty good too. 70 cents is pretty good, right? Squirrel Nest, I'm not sure. I will scan it just in case. Mm, it's been reprinted from Conspiracy. And a Valiant Changeling. It's a shapeshifter. Probably not a big one. More shapeshifters. Gambit. A Arkham's Astrolabe, which... If I'm not mistaken, it's now banned in modern. So that's probably why it's only 25 cents. Pondering Mage, cool art. Love the callback to the ponder. Spore Frog is one that is not worth scanning. Like I said, Headless Spectre, trustworthy scout, Fairy Seer, and a Blade Black Back Sliver. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Iconic Masters. Yep. Yep. I meant to do that. Kiln Fiend, the student of Ojutai. Yeah, Leek, Drake, Abeloth, Claustrophobia, Haunting Him, Golgari Rot Farm, Electrolyze, and a Sphinx of Uthune. Uthune, just say that. Just say it out loud where you're at. Come on, do it. Uthune. It's a flying 5-6. When it enters the battlefield, reveal the top five cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. 
And I'm sure it's not a big one. Yep. Yep, yep. I was right. A furnace whelp. It's cute. It really is. I don't know what I'm, where I'm putting these. That goes there. This one goes here. Eternal Masters. A um, couple of couple of big pulls I'd like out of this. We got a Mog. Oops. The Shelter. Knight's Whisper. That's a good common, right? 305. And it actually saw it correctly. Got a Drake. The Aura Flame. Backwater, a tragic slip, a charger. We got a Necrotal, Battle Squadron, Honden of Knight's Reach. So the Hondens are coming back in style right now. So let's scan this one up. And we've also got a Regal Force. Honden of Knight's Reach, the original is 275. Eternal Master is actually more 344. Regal Force is four and three green for Elemental 5 5. When it enters the battlefield, draw a card for each green creature you control. Um, and in alchemy, I think you can just kind of like make this thing appear with some kind of cards that are digital only. But here, you can have the original for 250. And you got a humble and a gabo. All right, double masters. Um, I always forget which one of these are the side openers, which it doesn't do me any good anyway because I can never do those things. Come on. Over here, got an aberration, a salvager, Urza's power plant, which I guess I'll pull that. It's probably not worth more than anything that I want to scan. Chalice, got is it charm? We got a gelatinous genesis, rush of knowledge. Ooh, that's a nice rare exploration for one green. It's enchantment. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Reprinted from Urza's Saga. Not a reserveless card. You would think it would be, right? Because it's pretty powerful. And a Skurzdag High Priest. So that's really good. Uh, that'll get us to leave here. The High Priest is one in a black for Human Cleric. One, two. You can, it's got Morbid. You can tap two on two up creatures you control. Create a five, five black. Demon creature token with flying. Activate this ability only if a creature died this turn. Probably see some playing commander. But not really anywhere else, right? So... 50 cents for one of the versions. Got a Tamir Battle Rage and a Glaze Fiend and a Soldier. All right, so sleeve for my exploration. Yes, the piles are getting out of hand. I don't care. There we go. Modern Horizons 2 up next. I keep looking over here like my trash is not there, so I have to just like put the packs right there. Not that you needed to know all that. Manticore, Aerolist, Cobra, Starfish, Bottle Golems, Courier, Bridge, Breathless Knight, Bridge again, Ghostlit Drifter, Brainstone, I'm not sure if any of those are going to get, Feast of Sanity, and a Gorilla Shaman, so that's four uncommons, right? I, that always throws me off. Gorilla Shaman. And damn, that's a good looking card right there. The two black, it's sorcery, destroy target creature, a creature destroyed this way, can't be regenerated. You can overload it for two and two white. Very cool. And a clue. 357. Solid. All right. The Zipperino for 2015 -o. Power up. Arrest. The nest. Stoic rebuttal. Ghostly changeling. Helium squirter. Initiate. Sign in blood. Gust skimmer. Got a cytoplast rootkin. An Orzov basilica. A boros swift blade. And. Horde of notions. It's a five color elemental for five five. Vigilance, Trample, and Haste, and you can pay five colors. You may play target elemental card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. Is there a lot of elementals that that would help a lot with? I'm not sure. Anything multicolored, it's going to discount it a little bit at least. And a Crusher. All right, Ultimate Masters. This one's a side opener. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like caught. I always mess that up. Okay, 
zombie. Living lore is the foil, and there we go. Temporal manipulation is a mythic. Three and two blue take an extra turn after this one's the same as a time warp, I believe. 23 bucks. All right. Plugging away here. Let's get a couple of these out here. Just in case I get some more. Temporal manipulation. So a couple of good hits here. I gotta say. I'm okay with that. Uh, hold on, we didn't even finish this last pack of Ultimate. Miraculous Recovery, Rise from the Tides, Brazen Scourge, and some commons. Foil? So only the foil foil, I think, is worth really anything. 50 cents is not bad. And the rest of those. All right, next up. Masters 25. Crimson Mage, Squadron Hawk, this guy, that one, her, a rat. I like Fencing Ace, that's a good card. Abomination. Blue Elemental Blast, um, which the originals are worth a little bit. Let's see. Yeah, it says it's the Mystery Booster. It's not, though. Yeah, reprinted a bunch of times, so really just the originals. Pillory of the Sleepless. Another one that was reprinted down to like nothing. Genju of the Spires. And whoa. Oh my gosh. Cool. Hitting it on the Mythics today. Chalice of the Void. I was going to put an expletive in the middle there, but I decided not to. Chalice of the Void for double X. Chalice of the Void enters the battlefield with X charge counters in on it. Whenever a player casts a spell with converted mana cost equal to the number of charge counters on Chalice of the Void, counter that spell gtfo your spell don't even try it that's great but bang so you can reprint this card all you want and you can make it drop down in price 50 percent for a year but it is going to come back time and time again because it's probably a pain in the butt to play against i'm guessing all right one more Modern Masters, the OG, a giant dust wasp, and I would run away from a regular dust wasp, I'm just saying, imp, seekers, giant, visions, scourger, mechanist, gleam, drag down, pestermite, vivid grove, it's good on common, vivid meadow, meadow. Well, again, the reprint effect. These used to be like almost a buck. See? All right. So hold on. The Grove, Modern Masters version. Yeah, 50 cents. The Meadow, Modern Masters version is over a buck. So people play the white Vivid Land more than the green Vivid Land. Interesting. Narcomoeba and an Earwig Squad. Mark Amoeba, only 57 cents. An Earwig Squad for 3 and 2 black. It's a Goblin Rug with Prowl. When it enters the battlefield, if its Prowl cost is paid, search target opponent's library for 3 cards and exile them. Then that player shuffles his or her library. It is more than I thought. Well, the original. Hold on. Water Masters, about the same. A buck 64 and an Amru Seekers and a Soldier. There we go. Hey, very good hits on my packs here today what do you think comment down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button and check out all my other my other videos and i'll see you later tragic out